narration or reporting. Special stress has been given not only on the use of statements, commands, requests, yes or no questions, WH questions, but also on the use of question tags, can or can't they, do they or don't they. Anil can speak Hindi well, can't he? We often need to report messages, speeches, comments, requests, etc. of a person or persons to others. We may report the words of a speaker in two ways. One, we may quote his actual words. This is called direct speech. Two, we may report what he said without quoting his exact words. This is called indirect speech or reported speech. Mrs. Sane says, I am ill. Direct speech. Mrs. Sani says that she is ill. Indirect speech. Hi friends. Today we are going to learn something about indirect speech. In this, we are going to learn how to convert a direct speech into an indirect speech. But before that, we need to make our ground and for that we need to understand different kinds of sentences well there are four different types of sentences the first one is a statement a statement is a simple sentence which has a subject and a predicate for example i read a letter this is a statement the second kind of sentence is an interrogative sentence interrogative sentence is nothing but a question now there are two types of question the first kind of question is called as a wh question which begins with a questioning word now questioning word can be what why where how etc such kind of questions are called as wh questions for example what do you want it's a question so this is an interrogative sentence the second kind of question is a verbal question or it is also called as yes or no type of question it usually begins with an auxiliary or model auxiliary verb for example can i do this work the expected answer to such question is always in the form of yes or no well the third kind of sentence is an imperative sentence imperative sentence expresses command order request advice or a warning such kind of sentences are called imperative sentences these sentences begin with a verb and the subject is always hidden it doesn't contain a subject they are the imperative sentences and the fourth kind of sentences exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentence always carry an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence and it begins either with what or with how for example what a scene how kind you are these are exclamatory sentences Indirect speech changes in helping verbs. Well, when we change a direct speech into an indirect one, there are certain changes which happen in verbs, pronouns and some other words. Let's understand 
what are the changes which are to be followed in indirect speech. To begin with, let's understand what are the changes that happen in helping verbs or auxiliary verbs. To begin with, we have to be verbs. Is, am, are. These are the to be verbs. Now, is, am, are, are in the present tense. Please remember, children, the present tense always changes into a past tense. So, is, am, are changes into was or were. Shall, will changes into would, which is a past tense form of will. Can changes to could. Could is the past tense form of the verb can. Have and has. Again, present tense verbs which change into a past tense verb and that is had. Had is the past tense of have as well as has. May changes into might. Don't and doesn't change into didn't. These are certain changes which happen in helping verbs. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.